Hey, how was your weekend? Did you buy that sick phone that just came out? Of course. I am not going without the newest, coolest phone. I'm young and happening. You only live once. Wow, that is so cool. How could you afford it? Are you kidding me? I just used my credit card. As long as there is room on it, then I have money. What are you saying? You didn't buy it. Um, no, I mean, I want it, but I have to wait until I have the cash. Girl, you are acting so old school. Go sign up for a credit card. It is like winning the lottery. Then get the phone and we can mess around on it together. What? A credit card is not like winning the lotto. You have to pay it back and with interest. Who told you that it was like the lotto? I don't want to say where I learned my info since it is obviously wrong. Are you sure you know what you are talking about with credit cards? I do. You need to start with learning information on basic finances though before you get into credit cards. Okay, give me the skinny. Alright, but no more using your credit card till we get through that lesson. Deal? Alright. You need to learn to be responsible for your personal finances. Step one is to manage your individual or your family finances. Oh yeah, give me my mom's plastic. Be serious. Okay, give me my mom's cash, then. Better yet, just listen for a while. Yes, madam. When you manage finances, you need to know how much money you have, what is mandatory spending, so you know how much you have left over. The leftover is called disposable income. That is the money you get to buy what you want with it. The mandatory spending is what you need to live. It depends who pays what in your household. All kids and parents have different financial responsibilities in their households. For my mom, she pays the mortgage, the electric and gas, the garbage and recycling, insurance, groceries, taxes and more that I can think of right now. These are the mandatory bills. Like my new cleats for football. Focus. Sorry. So, I saw my mom buying this new pair of hiking boots in the store the other day. I asked why she wasn't buying them, and she said she didn't have enough disposable income yet. She was saving though, so she could afford to buy them with cash in a couple of months. See, she was making a systematic decision. The priority is to pay the bills first and then with what is left over to decide what to save and what you can spend on your wants. I have learned my information from reliable sources, such as my business economics class in high school and my grandpa teaches me the basics that he learned from reliable financial magazines. I don't t learn the 411 from anyone off the street and put my financial future at risk. Hint hint, it is important to learn about managing your money at a young age, so you can set yourself up for a positive financial future. You need to learn your information from reliable sources and then start to practice your newfound skills. Thanks. I can't wait to learn more from you. I think that is enough for now though. My brain is on overload. I need to digest. How about we go to the skate park for a couple hours? It is free after all, and we both have skateboards. Right on. I gotta run home and get mine. Meet you there. Cool.